Hey folks, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. We've got a flashlight as you saw in the thumbnail. I don't know how to say this brand name. <laughs> I'll just say Borit. Uh, Bor Boruit? I'll just say Borit. Unfortunately, I haven't spent the time to uh, find the pronunciation of this. But I have checked out this flashlight. I've had it now for two weeks. I got this flashlight from Fast Tech, and I've got links down below where you can buy it yourself. We've got a side button. It's a metal button system for this flashlight. 20, 26 650 batteries in here is one of them. 26 650 is the number. So it's a large battery. Uh, we've got a long throw flashlight beam, high lumens, um, and uh, it's even got a base screw holder. You can attach it onto all kinds of standard uh, quarter inch, 20 threads per inch uh, screw adapters, which is a very common thing, especially in um, uh, tripods and uh, stands and a lot of equipment has that type of screw. So this can be attached on that way. Uh, aluminum handle, um, anodized. It's an aluminum alloy, a USB port on the side for charging, and you can charge your cell phone with this thing or whatever else you have with you. A lot of cool features here. So stick around. This is the Borit BC10, and it's coming at you right now. Okay, so here we go. This is the main flashlight. Like I said, it's got a USB port on the side here. And yeah, it doesn't easily open, but that's a good thing, so it won't accidentally open easily. So right there, uh, close that back up. Here's the power button. There's an LED ring around there, which has got a useful purpose that I'll show later on. There's the lens in there. You can see that it's got the orange peel kind of lens covering. And I'm not going to take it all the way apart, but I'll show you a picture of it taken apart. So you can see all the different parts of it. Uh, I'll put that on the screen right now. And uh, so when I take it apart, what do I got? I've got, uh, I won't put the name on it, but there's this battery. The battery does not come with the system. Um, especially mailing into Canada. Canada has really weird laws about uh, lithium ion batteries, so it's kind of hard to get them in. So what I have here is a uh, five, let's cover up the brand name there. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour 26650 battery, and uh, it worked very well in here. The specs that they put with this system are measured when they had a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. So this battery's got more power than the one that they tested with. And it turns out that their numbers are probably very accurate because I got more time out of this light with this battery than they expected with a battery that's got a little less power. So I believe they're very accurate and honest with their numbers. So here's the end of the handle or the cap, I should say. Uh, nice coated. There's a dual spring in there. So it's really strong, very well made. And uh, there's the uh, cap that's got the threading in it. Let's see if I can get it uh, zoomed in a little closer so you can see more detail of it. There you go. So there you can see how that is in there with the threads. And nice knurling on here and uh, that double spring system in there. And uh, you've got nice clean threads here. You've got an O-ring right there. Um, nice knurling here for a good grasp on it. And there's the model number, BC10. And there again is that USB port right there. Very nice. And there's that lens. It's got a very powerful, a, it's got a fairly powerful LED in there. The LED is the XHP 70.2 by Cree. Now the 70.2 is a pretty new uh, LED and it can push out, what did I read the number? 4,292 lumens. But this flashlight maxes at 3,600 lumens. 
and that it does only briefly. Uh, for the most part, this thing is running at about 1200 lumens. Basically, it's a 1200 lumen flashlight that can do a 90 second burst at 3600 lumens. So 3600 lumens maximum, which is well underneath the max maximum spec that the LEDs rated for. And normally it's running at 1200 lumens, so it's well within the spec. And you know what that means? It means a longer life because they're not pushing the LED close to its limits. They're, they're running well within the limits that the LED has uh, in its manufactured specs. So that's a really good thing. Some venting over here on the sides. I could not get this thing to get so hot to become even close to, um, I couldn't get this thing to be so hot in the hand that it was even close to burning or anything remotely like that at all. Um, it just has a really good um, construction and the vents uh, allow it to vent out quite well. I set it up inside my house, you know, so room temperature and turned it on on high and let it go. It ran for two hours and 50 minutes and the specs is for two hours and 30 minutes, so two and a half hours. So it ran longer than the specs say. And that's because the batteries got a little bit bigger than the battery they tested with. So, and it didn't get too hot in the hand at all. So I really, really like that. So what do we have? We've got this black anodization of this aluminum alloy. We have, what's the sizes that we have here? The dimensions for this flashlight are, the length is 13.2 centimeters, 5.2 inches. And the diameter at its widest, which is up here at the head, is 3.7, 1.4 inches this way. It weighs 232 grams, which is 8.15 ounces. So it's just barely over half a pound. That's with this battery in it. Uh, other batteries may weigh less or more. And But I like to give the weight of the unit with a battery because that's only reasonable. Because without a battery, uh, it's a paperweight, right? and not a flashlight. Uh, there's no flash to it without a battery. So there's that. There's um, IPX8 rating, waterproof. Uh, I put it into a bucket for two hours. Yeah, works just fine. Um, I dropped this, but not onto concrete. It's got a two meter drop rating. I dropped it onto a hardwood floor, hardwood, not hardwood floor, hardwood paneling. Um, hardwood wood is what I should be saying. Um, and yeah, it dented the wood a little bit, but I didn't chip the anodization. I will do some testing, uh, outside on the sidewalk. I forgot to do it before I started talking. So I'll put the results on the screen right here. And if it damages it, I'll show you a picture. It's got how many levels? It's got four different light levels. We've got turbo that's at 3,600 lumens which goes down to 1200 lumens after 90 seconds. That's a minute and a half. Then we've got the high rating at 650 lumens and it can do that for five hours. By the way, the uh, 3600 lumens, well, 1200 lumens really, it's two and a half hours. Five hours at 650, uh, 25 hours at 120 lumens and it can do 150 hours at 20 lumens. And that's the lowest rating. And 20 lumens for the lowest rating, I think is very good. Uh, these flashlights where you just have one or two lumens, that lowest rating, you'll just, it's just not very functional, not, not very usable. Uh, 20 lumens, you can do an awful lot of stuff with this thing. No problem. And that also has a beacon and an SOS. Uh, it's got some other features. You can tell how much battery power you have, or at least how much voltage you have, by just doing a simple triple click, and then it will do some flashes in different colors. So let's do that. Let's try this out. One, two, three. Green. Green three times. Oops, and I was on the wrong angle to see how many times it did on red. Let's do it again because I didn't see it because how bright it is here. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven red. So that's at 3.7 volts, which is what it should be because this is a fresh battery. So once the voltage starts dropping down, you know you don't have much power left on this thing, but you can just double check that with that triple click. 
Um, how do you turn it on? Well, you just hold it and turn it on. And yeah, see, it's on. <laughs> and let me put my hand here. That'll probably help better. So you press the button to go and it goes up, up, up. And then it goes down one step at a time. And that's how you rotate through the levels. It goes low to high to low to high and just sort of goes around in a loop that way or sort of in a wave that way, I should say. Now, if you want to get to the special features, you do a now, if you want to get to the special features, you do a double click. And there you go, there's the SOS. Double click, and you got the strobe. Double click, SOS. Double click, strobe. Click and hold, turns it off. One click, turns it back on. Very easy to use. No problem at all. Uh, right now is maybe a good time for it. Let me take you to the video that I recorded outside in the dark a few days ago. It's pretty dark outside and see a little bit of light way down there. So let's turn our flashlight on. Whoa, and it's immediately on strobe. <laughs> so let's get that off. Goes, uh, you click it again and it's just on. And so as you can see on the ground there, there's light. And uh, if you just tap the button, at first it goes up and then it goes down. So it'll go up and up again. And the next step will be down. It goes down a little bit, down a little bit, down a little bit, and then it starts going back up again. So it cycles through that up and down. And yeah, in this brightest mode, it's uh, pre plenty bright. Like you can see a lot. <laughs> you can. You can see that tree, that's pretty ways, oh, that tree's a long ways off. There's my backyard. Check that out. Oh, there's a little bit of light from that other, I'll wait for that light to go off so we can see better. Let's go further into my backyard here, on my side corner. Oh, the wind's blowing, hopefully the mic's not picking up too much wind noise, but check that out. Loads of light. You can just see beautifully. Great light. It's nice wide light, so awful lot of stuff to be uh, visible. You can no problem see what you need to see, and it just works. And uh, so pointing now down to the backyard there. Let's make it go down a bit, and down a bit, and now it's on the lowest mode, and you can just see the white on the building there going up and down that's me okay so you've got a flashlight that's got an awful lot of light especially for 90 seconds which is a good amount of time and then you can always just cycle down low and back up again to get another 90 seconds of that high power uh, but i found in real life situations it's not very common that i need 3600 volts you know a thousand lumens <laughs> volts i don't need 3600 lumens a thousand or twelve hundred lumens is a very good number that gets almost everything done that you want to do. What is this purpose? What's the purpose for this flashlight? Borat says it's for things like camping, uh, hiking, uh, fishing. Uh, this is a good outdoorsman's light. It's got an awful lot of light. It's more so than just a regular EDC night light. Night light. I was almost saying knife there. It's more than an EDC light. It's a little bit big for EDC everyday carry, but very, very functional, very bright for something that's a little bit more than EDC. And so I think it's a good camp light, a good, um, you know, going on a hike, especially if it's a multiple day hike, uh, something like that. Very good to have something like this. Um, again, it's a 2650 battery. The price for this is $52.99 US, $66.23 Canadian, 45.04 euros or 39.74 British pounds. And that's at Fast Tech. And I've got a link down below so that you can use that link to buy this. And if you use that link, I do get a little bit of a credit. So thank you very much. Now, let me show you what this USB button or feature can do because yes, you can use this device to charge your battery. So let me show you on your cell phone or whatever. So let me show you everything that comes with this flashlight. 
It comes in a nice but plain box. You've got a lanyard that comes with it. Nice, you know, expandable lanyard, a nice basic lanyard. You get a pouch that uh, has a snap on it, so you can attach it to a bag, attach it to your belt. There's a bit of Velcro to help it out a little bit. So there's that loop there that'll never come loose, or you got this loop where you can put something and then snap it closed. So your choice on how you want to use that. And the light fits in here very well. Stuff it on in there. It's just a little hard to do on camera right here. So there it is, and you fold it over, and it holds it closed. You know, the Velcro touches with that. And that's, you know, a good way to carry it. So nice to have that feature. Uh, you get a spare O-ring in this bag. There you go. Um, you got a set of instructions. I've been through those. And, well, I haven't used this exact cable yet, but I've used the equivalent. This is just basically a uh, micro USB cable. Uh, there you go. You've seen those a long time, or often I should say. And then you get this. Now this is the little feature that lets you turn your flashlight into a charger. So here's a little key ring part and put that aside. So basically it's an adapter from the micro to the regular USB. You take this piece and you put it in here. And then you take your cable like this, your any charger that you want, any charging cable you have. Uh, if you've got a lightning cable to go to you know, an Apple device, well, you use that instead of this one. And you just plug it into you know, your mobile phone or whatever. And it says charging right there. So this already was mostly charged, but just to let you know, that it charges just by using this. So you heard that turn off. Take a listen to this when I plug it back in again. You just barely hear it, but yeah, it's turned on and it's got power going through. So you can charge at uh, one amp, uh, whatever you have that needs charging. So that's a really good feature because when you go going hiking in something, you know, maybe you don't need your flashlight very much but maybe something else that uses electricity dies down on you and uh, you know you do your assessment and you decide you're going to grab some power off of this. Very good. Especially if you've got a spare battery from this thing, you know, but you just don't have a way of getting the power out of this battery into your cell phone. But now this device can do that. More and more flashlights are having features like that and I like that very much. Um, it rolls a little bit, but it doesn't roll completely because some of the sides do end up touching and it sort of stops on, a, on, a, on the flats and doesn't just keep rolling indefinitely but it is close to that. Again you get a light that at its top uh, light goes for two and a half hours or more. With this 5000 milliamp I got almost three hours out of a thousand two hundred lumens. Now there's not that many lights that'll do that in this physical size. But thankfully, this larger kind of battery, these 26650s, are a really good choice for, um, you know, this kind of flashlight because, you know, they're big, they hold a lot of uh, power in them, and they just simply work very well. One more thing about this light, the flashlight has got all the protections built in. It's got thermal protection, it's got over voltage protection, it's got under voltage protection, it's got reverse polarity protection, it's got the thermal protection, it's got it's got all the protections you ever need in a flashlight all built into this thing. So I am very much impressed with my first Borit flashlight and hopefully I'll be able to review some more in the future. Again, this is the BC-10, and I got mine through Fast Tech. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, keep a light around because you just never know when you need a little more light on the subject.